Hello my wonderful and amiable listeners. Welcome to yet another interesting news. It has been reported that Ghana's Indigo has not assured you Plame to Numbu's ministerial appointment says having only five ministers from South East is unfair and unjust. We recall that the Apex Igbo Social Organization, the Anis in the book, which stated that, which stated that in a statement issued on Thursday night signed by its President General, Chief Emmanuel Wanyan, who said the appointment violates both the Constitution and federal character principle. The Apex Igbo Social Cultural Organization, the Anis in the book worldwide, has faulted the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria person of Ashua Jubola Ahmed to Numbu on his ministerial on his ministerial appointment saying it is unfair and unjust for the South East geopolitical zone to have only five ministers when other regions have up to eight or ten. And is in the book which stated this in a such statement issued on Thursday night signed by its President General Chief Emmanuel Wanyang who said the appointment violates both the constitution and federal capital, federal character principle. The AP social, the APS Igbo body, which said it is disturbed by the recent ministerial appointment made by the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tinubu, and reminded the Nigerian pol- political elite that one united Nigeria can be achieved in an atmosphere of fairness, justice, and equity. In the appointment, the South East has only five ministries, ministers, while some other zones have nine and even ten ministers. Oan is a regretted. The Oan is Indigo feels that it is unfair and unjust. The Oan is Indigo believes in one united Nigeria and this can only be achieved in an atmosphere of fairness, justice, and equity. We therefore demand justice, fairness, and equity for every ethnic group in the Federal Republic of Nigeria, including the Igbos. As a result, the Southeast was changed with five states, while other zones have a minimum of six states. The situation, the situation has placed the Southeast in a very difficult position, politically, economically, and socially. Our political power has been reduced as we have a few senators and also in the House of Representatives, Governors, House of Assembly, and local governments. In federal revenue allocation, the Southeast is due the revenue that comes on the basis of, of states in federal board appointments and other resources and other resource distribution we are strategically sustained, the one is the indigo reminded Nigerians. Although the ego APS body maintained that this situation will not will not caused by the current administration, it however appealed to the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, in person of Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tunubu, to remedy the situation and restore justice, equity, and fairness in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We pray the Almighty God to bless and prosper our country. Nigeria and, and given, give our leaders the wisdom and knowledge to steer up the ship of Nigerian nation to peace, happiness, and prosperity for all Nigerians, irrespective of the ethnic, creed, and political persuasion, he said. And is the Indigo, which is the Igbo the Social Cultural Organization in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. A group aims to represent the interests of all Igbo communities within and outside Nigeria. Although the group is not a political party, one of its main objectives is to foster unity among its members in order to, to be more effectively rep- to more effectively represent the political interests of Igbos in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The Igbo Union, the Igbo State Union, the precursor to the one is in the Igbo was founded in nineteen thirty four by Igbo elites and intellectuals to advance the interests of Igbos in what was then the colony and protectorate of Nigeria, ruled by the British Empire. After, after the 1966 anti-Igbo program and the Nigerian Civil War, 
Hundreds of prominent Igbos convey to unify Igbos under an umbrella, the Igbo National Assembly. This organization was later born by the Nigerian military of dictatorship from fears that there is existence of organization. The existence of the organization would promote Igbo separatism. Thus, a successful pan Igbo, Igbo organization, known as the Indigbo, was formed in 1976 by the professor by Professor Benoit Bouese, who is a constitutional lawyer. The organization was supported by King Slema Deboe, Dr. Francis Ikano Ibiam, Dr. Mike Iyaku Iyaku Nukora Okpara, Dr. Pius Okibo, and Chief Jerome Udoji, who served as the first first prime, first secretary general, among other notable claims. The current president of the APC Social Organization, one is Indibu, is Chief Dr. Emmanuel Chukwemeka Wanyamu, who is a Nigerian politician and businessman, considered one of the richest Ibu men in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Chief Emmanuel Wanyamu, who was born on Friday, the 4th of September 1942, to Pa Bernard Wanyamu and Madam Uda Wanyamu of Umuoli Ata in Ikedu local government area of Imo State. His grandfather, Wang Yangwu, was a war commander who led the native, native warriors into war. Though born into a very young family, Chief Emmanuel Wang Yangwu, a much as a politician, businessman, and philanthropist, to be reckoned with in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The Nigerian Civil War was fought in 1967 to 1970 and interrupted Mazi Wang studies. He was drafted into the Biafra Research and Production Lab Directorate, headed by Professor Benjamin Chukuka Umosu, a nuclear physicist. Mwanya was served in the rocket unit of RAP, headed by Professor Godian Ezekwe. In June 1990, the military president of Nigeria, General Ibrahim Babangida, lifted the ban he had placed on political activities. Chief Emmanuel Wanyamu emerged the national chairman of the unregistered National Nas- Nigerian National Congress, NLC, which later forced into the Nigerian Republic Convention, NRC Party. He contested for the post of President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria under R- NRC. Incidentally, General Ibrahim Abangi also lifted ban on politician of old politician of the First and Second Republic, and Adamu Siroma entered the contest. He won in the NRC presidential primaries, and the party decided that Emmanuel Umwaya would be his running mate. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. And let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next news. Bye for now.